So, the first one I sort of have here is, if you had a chance to be a game dev, what game would you like to make? Do you have any thoughts on this uh, off the bat, Mikey? I believe that's that was... That's what's back to. <laughs> I should have seen that coming. I should. I should have seen it coming. It was. It was an easy. It was an easy one. It, it was, was a real. One. You just went for the <laughs> lowest hanging fruit to really make that. I will. I will remake the last of two. <laughs> but but seriously, it's I, it's a tough question to be honest with you, mm. because I was thinking about I'm like like the the last of us the gods of war the uncharted i love them heavily narrative driven games mm -hmm. you know, i love them but then on the other hand like playing the likes of elden ring and breath of the wild i've never been more immersed in a game world than i have been with them yeah so i i'm very much torn i think i'd probably lean towards making the big open epic a la elden ring or breath of the yeah. wild he's richly these rich worlds that have so much in them to do and it's very much a player just go off there and do something do you know it's very much you make the world and it is the the players play player room do you know what yeah you do. i do whatever they, whatever they want with it yeah yeah i i have i actually do have an idea for a game or i've had mobile ideas for games i'd love to be a game dev and be able to make games i've had different ideas for like really i had this really cool idea for like um I'll go for like my two main ones I really like. The main first one is let me get comfortable. Gonna, gonna start talking all the shit. Um, the first one I really really enjoyed as an idea was like very sort of much like I I envision I work for Rockstar in this. By the way, let me preface yeah. preface that basically a me medieval Red Dead type of game. Okay. So my sort of idea is. You're in a medieval English sort of kingdom. I don't want it to be England. I want it to be sort of mid fantasy. Okay. So I'm trying to explain like the sort of thing I wait. So I wanted to like very Game of Thronesy. I think would be the right way. So like there is magic, there is supernatural enemies, there is stuff like that there. But like it doesn't overpower the world. Like a, like it's not as big as The Witcher, and it's not as big as like Harry Potter in terms of like everything has a magical sort of thing to it yeah. i wanted to very much sort of be like you're in a re very realistic sort of world but then like there's ogres and there's like realistic text on monsters and me if there's a if there's a dragon it'll be like the most legendary sort of like hidden hidden sort of thing in the game type of way yes. um yeah and, and stuff like that there but and i don't want it to be so you can sort of have this sort of thing where you have like a traveling band i'm very sort of like do you ever watch that knight's tale yes yeah. Right, so you have a sort of dynamic like with that, where like yeah. you sort of have your main guy who's like, he's a knight, but he's not really. You know, he has, he's got a bit of a, a secret past that nobody really knows about. And you sort of meet these guys sort of mid up and halfway through their, their not journey, but their sort of travels. So they just sort of like travel around this sort of kingdom, or the mobile kingdoms, I would say, um, where they have their little roaming camp. Uh, but it's not like as big as like the RDR2 camp. It'd be much smaller because it's only like three or four of them. Yeah. So you say that you have like the dedicated driver who you wouldn't play as. You have sort of like the knight character who is sort of like the main focal point. Yes. Uh, and where the main story sort of like goes off of. They're like the de facto leader and stuff. And then you have more of a thief, archer, assassin -y type of character basically. You know... And you can have like you could have some nice cool maybe free running mechanics and stuff that like each character basically has a different really good ability so like your knight works really well in open combat they're very charismatic they can like be they could just like walk into a town a village a mountain bailey anything like that and be like i demand to duel the the master of this four and just you go on a 1v1 very sort of like nearly goes to tsushima style defeat them that way um and you can have the or you can have it be like they're, they just go in and like they are very diplomatic in that sense too so they can do that their type of stuff and yeah, it's very exactly. much you know the 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 chivalrous knight you know yeah, yeah um yeah. yeah so then you have another carter who's a very much like that sort of sneaky thief in the shadows doesn't like to get up into unfair contention so they'll have like a yeah, lowered health very, bar yeah they'll be very acrobatic you know have a bit of a parkour system so like they can do the parkour where the knight yeah. obviously the knight wears heavy armor when he's out of heavy armor, he can be a bit more mobile, but he wouldn't obviously be as mobile as the 
the one who, the one who can yeah, use like full. Yeah. You get what I mean? So you have like a very so you sort of take the GTA Five route is what I'm sort of thinking here. It would be like different characters. Yeah, so it would be the it would be the GTA GTA route where you can sort of, but you can have like quicker switching type of way. And obviously this would be like very much uh, it would have to be in this generation or something past it just for how like to get the Rockstar touch into this type of game. Yes. In the way I'd want it to be, um, so you ha then you have this Archer character. They you know they have a dark backstory. They're a thief. They sort of they butt heads with the knight on certain things. Um, for for that sense, where like they want to like be able to, they don't like the parties. They don't like going and trying to you know be fair with things. They'd rather just go in and like steal all the shit from the castle. And you know that sort of plays into the gameplay, which yeah. I'll get to in a wee second. I just went and put this into my full video gaming pitch right here, but I wanted to see excuse to talk about this, and this is the perfect opportunity. And then you have uh, your third character. Who I was a bit sort of worried on how I wanted to play them because you can sort of do them depending on what way you have the the knight be. You could have them either be like a very a bard esque character, which I think could be really funny gameplay wise because it's such a dichotomy from the other two. Where like yeah. it's like your uh, it's your dandelion, it's it's that sort of character that just sort of like busts in or or the guy the, the actual bard from a knight's deal who's literally just like you know coming in with his loot and he's love and life and he can like distract cr the whole crowd and yeah you know we'll do these really he's in the fight though he's really he, he's no hope sort of thing though like that's yeah yeah like that that's what like yeah. he gets he gets into it and like he's always he's great for distraction he's great for like yeah. he can charm he can charm people but he like never like but he's really like you know in a side he reaches so he wants to sell down he wants to you know find the love of his life he's very just very much like a, a hopeless poet type of thing Yes. Where, yes. like, he's obviously, like, he is a very good-looking person. He's very charismatic. He can very much... He can do all the bard things. Yes. But not... But not... It's not... He doesn't want to just do those bard things. He wants to, like... He sort of, like, takes it farther. And he's like, Oh, I find this maiden in the tavern. We're going out for the evening. And in <laughs> and, 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 and the next scene, he's like, I thought she was the love of my life. How could she do this to me? Or I didn't know she had a husband. And, you know, like, there's ways to, like, get that into it. Yes, yeah. And then the other way, and I, I don't know if I would want to go for four characters, but I would think either like the bard character could even be a side character, because he can either be playable with very 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 specific gameplay function, mm. or he can be a background character that is travels with the group and like will be sort of like very buddy buddy with the knight and like whenever the knight's like coming into a, a village for whatever reason, um, if it is like if they're trying to do like a whole sh song and dance. The, the bard facilities, the dance and song, you know? It reminds me of, do you know, did you ever play Sly 3? Yes, Sly yes. Cooper. You know, you have like all the different characters. For, like, yes, it's basically, yeah. yeah. I, I yeah, never even thought about this, but this is like such... Rockstar, <laughs> rockstar do, does Sly, but they're all humans in medieval England. Yeah. Basically is my idea. Because, um, and the other idea I have is like, just having like the very much the brit character. There's actually, there's so many, I, I definitely want a thief and I want a knight. Then you can have like you can have a you can have a brute character and a, a hunter character was another idea, but you can sort of have the hunter and the and the brute meld into one, or you can have the thief and the hunter but meld into one. The hunter would be yes. very very specific, you know, very good with horses, very good with uh, I don't know like makeshift weapons, tools, trinkets, stuff like that. There, but that gets very close to the thief territory, so I think the brute might be the better option. Where yeah. the brute's just very simple. He loves to fight. He loves to you know go, get go the easy way he, he he just he's very much about that life so you could have that sort of dichotomy between the three characters where they all sort of well they want the same thing but they don't but they all want to go about it different ways yeah that, yeah that, that'd be interesting from yeah point of view, like creating conflict with them as well yeah so they all they always yeah. constantly have a conflict with each other and that yeah. also plays into their gameplay functions as well but yeah. also how they work together so like the knight can come in and be have the whole thing the knight or the bard or whoever the fuck can go in and do their whole Da -da 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 I am fucking Count Regal of the fucking full moon type of shit, and the thief's fucking Nemo. He's ju he's jumped over the jumped over the wall, going behind while while everybody's distracted, going to get himself into the keep so he can steal the gold, and the the, the main guys keep distracted. And then what once he sort of like war the knight sort of wars usefulness out, and all the fighting starts to begin. He obviously can hold his own in in one v one fights and those type of fights, but then once the guards start coming and he start getting a bit overwhelmed, the brute fucking can come in and make a bigger Probably distraction, <laughs> and he, he basically comes in clean clean cleans up so they can all sort yeah. of like get the fuck out. Um, and I thought that'd be really cool. And then you could have like the hunter aspect and whatever character you put it in, it wouldn't be the knight. 
but it would have to yeah. be or the bard it would have to be that one of the other two but um you could have it be like you know tracking down different things so my main sort of idea was to have them just be a traveling band of like mercs basically yes but they'll like do lose it like you can basically go and their whole sort of goal is to like build a kingdom yes so you'll traverse through this game and you can have your side content being like hunting down different like special targets and stuff like that there or, or like you know ra raiding different forts or taking over forts and you know you're sort of like you could you can make some some of the aspects of Valhalla into it, i think yeah in terms of like the way they do with like the kingdoms and earning favor where you could sort of have this really cool thing where like i i, I imagine a lot of encounters being very much based within like the towns and settlements sort of like the somewhere with rdr2 where they're traveling throughout this kingdom but like they have their kingdom if you know what i mean but it's not really a kingdom it's like they, there's an old abandoned castle which i think i would like to have very central to sort of the map yeah, and have it be yeah. so that they all work That's off of there then, yeah yeah but like when they're in a certain area doing certain things you'll have like your key npcs and the key characters all sort of run around that area so like yes. and then you can have that quick switch feature where the, when they're not properly together they're going out and doing different things you can you can have the knights the knights training or you can have the the thief is like picking a pocket or he's sitting up in a tree sleeping or he's you know uh something doing something doing something sneaky in a tavern or something like that yeah. the brute the he's always a, he's always fighting he's very much your sort of like trevor-esque character yes yeah and you, you can see where i'm going with this like and have that sort of be the main thing but like have it be then this is maybe asking too much now but i would love to have like that sort of main sort of area you have like the the, the rundown keep as you go and do your different things you sort of like build that up yes yeah. and you're building up your your keep and all of that there to be like you know having people be at it and ma manning it so like servants and stuff like that there um have we go from like derelict old thing in the middle of somewhere to like actual an actual hall yeah an, act an actual whole area so like you know it starts off just it's just the keep at a stage you get to the stage where like you get a little surrounding the little surrounding village and then you have like you know then it, by the end it's like walled off it's like a proper fortification and like at the end of the game is basically they get the recognition they want it they all become lords or even like they all get what they want basically so like the thief wants money for to give to the poor and they've done that they've built the settlement and hmm. do that that way so have them sort of like be reluctant reluctant at the start for the whole having a sort of space of operations and by the end of the yeah. game they're like this is my community type of thing the knights very much wants to be like a lord and stuff like that there so it's like he at the end of the game is like he is like the de facto leader of this big big fucking establishment and then the bro he just likes fighting and by the end of the game he's you know you can have him have an arc whatever way you put that arc i don't i wouldn't have off the top of my head but i think there's a way yeah. to work at least two out of the three characters into that there but uh that's my idea for like uh, a game and just have it be like you know, a cool open world and stuff but like the way rockstar did it with rdr2 i really liked because you're like sort of like you felt you didn't have to be but you all usually felt obligated to stay in the area you were at yeah for because yeah. of the narrow of reasons like when you're when you get out of uh when you get out of the mountains you sort of want to stick around valentine and the surrounding heartlands mm. and then by the time you go down into scarlet meadows you don't want to go back up to valentine because of that and yeah duh, 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 duh. uh which i really like i really like that idea too where like you you are causing change in the world whether for good and for better i just i don't know what, what way you would do because i think a choice system would be cool but i don't know how to implement that yeah so i think if you just sort of like each sort of like major fort of the area there's like different things you can do whether that's you know doing different things for the the, the lord of the lord to work with you or it's for destroying the whole thing and have one where it's like they're doing a big heist and i think there's a lot of opportunity there and i really that's really what i want what i want to do and you could have a real a lot of things with that so oh, that, that really cool, actually, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a cool concept obviously well you well thought it out mm. again it, it said in that sort of environment as you say about the out of red dead redemption 2 rockstar style that would work really well in that sort of setting as well yeah the yeah it would work well very much for what their thing is because like that's why like i really i would like to have a lot of, like the knight's tale influence because the knight's tale humor works very well with the rockstar humor in terms of like yes you can have an accurate slightly anachronistic things and it would still it still like works well you know yeah it sounds very cool it's something i would definitely like to play it yeah well, there you go. If you if you want to play this game too, support Spectral Division. I will 
buy a company if I ever have the money. <laughs> I'll, buy, I'll buy Rockstar Games. I'll buy it from Tech 2. I, I hear Ubisoft might be up for sale soon, you know. I hear no advice. We nearly have a choice. I'm like, I'm just going to go for it and just kick every cunt out of that. Out of it. Like, Eve's going on, like, just over 300. Yeah, Eve's going, yeah, it's literally just... <laughs> this is Ubisoft. <laughs> <laughs> just knock him the fuck out. <laughs>